and in the last video we have learned how to start a free website in blogger website and in this video you will learn how to start writing your first blog post in blogger so if you have not watched that video then i recommend you to watch the video first and then you can continue with this video so how you can write a compelling blog post for your website like there are some techniques that you can use to improve the writings on your website so the first one you need to follow is to make the title attractive so suppose you want to write a article on affiliate marketing then how you can start writing your title for your blog post so you can say like what is affiliate marketing everything you need to know in 2024 or you can say it like what is affiliate marketing and how to make money online or you can say like how to make money online using affiliate marketing or you can say it like how affiliate marketing helps me made a lot of money in 2023 so there are various titles or various approaches you can follow to write your headlines so always try to make it short and as you know google shows maximum 70 to 90 characters in the search result so suppose when you search for the keyword like what is affiliate marketing so let's check the top results here and let's check how they have written their title so the first one is affiliate marketing definition examples so this is a very basic approach and you can see that what is affiliate marketing everything you need to know and there is affiliate marketing 101 what is what it is and how to get started and there is the affiliate marketing for beginners ultimate guide and there is this truth about affiliate marketing so there are various way people write the headline here and here you notice that most of the title of blog post is very short and simple the keyword is placed at the beginning of the title like affiliate marketing is added in the beginning like if you check all of the results they are using affiliate marketing in the beginning of the title and you can also add some powerful keyword like ultimate guide how to get started everything or these are some powerful word that you need to use on the title and you can also add numbers to your title like you can see like 101 so they have added this number 101 here or you can mention the current year in your title as well so the next thing you need to do is write the introduction of your article so let me quickly switch to the compose view here and let's add the title first like this so here in the introduction always try to make it simple and make a curiosity to read the content further so if you write a long piece of introduction then no one going to read that article so always try to keep the introduction short so let's check how they have done this so as you can see that they have added a introduction like this affiliate marketing is a great way to generate additional income you can become an affiliate marketer and recommend other brands or you can start an affiliate program to promote your own brand and they have directly added a video on that and that is added this two lines so the introduction is very short and to the point so always try to keep the introduction short and to the point now how you can start your article so always answer the questions that you have added in the title like what is affiliate marketing so you can directly start writing what is affiliate marketing like you can add the definition here and always try to add infographics images to your article so as you can see that they have directly added this videos at the top so let's check some of the other top ranking pages how they have done this so let me open this here and as you can see that the infographics is quite good and they have at this infographics added at the top like you can see how affiliate programs work so you can create infographics using tools like canva so it is a great and free tools that you can use to generate or create this type of infographics for your blog post and then they have added this option how does affiliate marketing works and then they have explained each and every topic here you notice that they are breaking the blog post into headings and subheadings like if you 
check types of affiliate marketing so they have used the h2 tag here and then they have used the s3 tag so if you break down the section into multiple heading and subheading then it will be easier for the user to read the whole content and if you write a long paragraph then no one going to read that blog post so always try to break the blog post into headings and subheadings and you can also add a list on your article like when you scroll down here so here it is you can see that they have added this bullet list so it will break the long piece of paragraph and it will give a breathing space to the article so either you can use tables list or you can use images to break paragraphs or you can add videos to break paragraph or you can add different interactive elements like you can add a note box or call out box something like that to break the long piece of paragraphs and here you notice that they are using internal linking so if you have other similar articles then you can link to your existing articles like there is the word pay per click ppc so if you have already written the article on ppc then you can link this article here in this word so that user can click on it and jump to that blog post so in this way you can increase the engagement on your website and increase the page views on your website so always try to do internal linking wherever possible but remember that only link to those articles that are relevant to the current article don't do unnecessarily do internal linkings whether both uh, articles are not related so always try to find the related articles and link them in the blog post and the next thing you can do is add a table of content to your blog post as you can see that there is this table of content so when you click on here it will jump to that heading so this is a great way to increase the engagement on the blog post so you can easily add a table of content to your blogger and wordpress website and always try to add your important keywords in this first and second sentence like here the keyword is affiliate marketing so it is added in the first sentence and you can add keywords in your heading as well like what is affiliate marketing so whenever you use these keywords in your first and second paragraph or in the heading it will help you rank those content in google so always try to add the keywords in the right position but don't overdo it like don't use the keyword multiple times because it will comes under keyword stuffing and the site will not rank so always try to add the keywords wherever possible and don't unnecessarily do it to get better ranking and here as you can see that the conclusion is written very short and simple and you can also add faq section to your blog post like this like is affiliate marketing legal what are the best affiliate marketing products so you can find these faq questions once you search for the term on google and google will suggest these type of keywords like people also ask so you can copy the questions and write it on your own like try to give the answer within the short sentences and add it to your faq section so this is how you can make your blog more interesting for the readers and they can easily select any one of the frequently asked questions and read about it and it will also help you show a feature snippet in your search result page so whenever someone search for the same questions then it will show a feature snippet in the google search so you can add faq schema to your blog post as well so let's publish this piece of content in blogger so first of all i will copy the title from here so let me copy it and i will add the title here now i will copy the first introduction here so let me quickly copy it and i will paste it here so always try to paste as plain text now you can highlight important keywords like here important keyword is affiliate marketing then i can highlight it and keep it as bold like this now i will hit enter now i will copy the heading here what is affiliate marketing and i will paste it here paste as plain text now i will highlight it and i will click on here and i will select it as heading so this is the h2 tag now i will hit enter and i will switch to paragraph and then i will copy the rest of the content so let me quickly copy it 
and I will paste as plain text like this and I will remove unnecessary spacing here. So blogger basically add this unnecessary spacing. So we don't want that. Now let's copy the next section how affiliate marketing works. So let me copy it and I will paste it as plain text. Now I will again select it and let's make it heading as two. And then I will copy the rest like this. So I will copy this paragraph and I will type like control shift and V to paste it as plain text. Now I will copy this part of the. So let's copy it and I will paste it here and here I can make it as a list. So I will select this and I will click on this. This is the bullet list and this is the numbered list. So if I click on here, it will show a dot bullet list or I can click it like number one, two, three, four. So here in this case, I will select it as a bullet list like this. Now let's hit enter again and then let me add three type of affiliate marketing. So let's copy the heading here and I will paste as plain text. Then I will highlight it and let's keep it as heading. Heading means as two. Then I will copy the rest here. So like let me copy this paragraph and I will quickly paste it. Now let's copy this heading on unattached affiliate marketing. So let me copy it and I will make it as three. So here I will select shop heading because this heading comes under the main heading H2. So that's why I have assigned H3 here, like shop heading here. And then I will copy the content here. So in this way, I can format my content in Blogger website. So you can do the same in WordPress as well. So WordPress gives you more flexibility on customization, but Blogger has the minimum or basic customization features that you can use. So he here in the same way, I can copy and everything here and then I can add images to my blog post as well. So let me hit enter here and I can create a feature snippet for my or featured image for my blog post. So I have already covered a detailed video on how to create feature image in Canva. So I will link that video in the description so you can follow that video to create a feature image for the blog post. So let me quickly search for the affiliate marketing images to add to our blog post. So let me choose this one as a feature image. So let me quickly download it and I will upload it here by clicking on this option upload from computer. Now I will choose the file and select the image and I will select this image and I will click on here and here you need to add the alt text. So alt text basically helps search engine to learn more about your images. Like it's basically a title of your image. So you can say it like what is affiliate marketing. So always try to add your focus keyword here in all text. So whenever someone search for affiliate marketing, it will swap that images to that uh, searchers and you can get traffic from image search as well. So I can add like what is affiliate marketing. And you can add a title text as well. So here I will add like affiliate marketing like this. And I can keep it like extra large and hit update like this. We have added our images. So in the same way, you can add infographics to your website as well. So when you go to this website, so let's scroll down here. And as you can see that they have added this infographics. So you can create it using Canva. Now you can also embed videos so you can simply search for affiliate marketing here. This let me embed this. So I will click on share and I will click on copy. Now I will go to blogger and let me embed the video here at the end of this section. So what I can do is I will click on the video icon here and I will click on YouTube. Now I will click on search and I will paste the link here and hit search and it will swap that video. I will click on here and I will click on select. Now you need to assign a level to this blog post like here. I will set this category as affiliate marketing. 
so let me copy this word affiliate marketing and i will paste it here and make sure to add a dash between your levels like this so it will create the level url properly and then you can set the publish time to automatic let's change the permalink here it is taking like what is affiliate marketing dash everything so we don't want that so i will copy this portion only what is affiliate marketing i will select custom permalink and i will paste it here like this so it will add the, our uh, domain name forward slash and it will add the 2024-01 like this so you can add the month and the year and then it will add this log this is the url log what is affiliate marketing so this is the permalink is set here now let's publish the blog post and let's check how this blog post looks in the front end so let me open this blog post here and you can see that our image is showing and then video is showing good as well and you can see we have added list and you can add at h2 s3 so in this way you can write your blog post and make sure to keep it engaging and interesting for the readers so that they can read a long piece of articles very easily otherwise it will not um, get that user signal and it will not rank in google as well so always try to make your blog post interesting so let me show you one of the blog post let me search for backlinko and let me open this website so this website is a perfect example how you should write your blog post and how you should format your blog post so let me open one of this so let me open one page seo and you can see that how interesting it is like they have added infographics this is a custom made infographics and they have added the key points at the beginning so as you can see that this is how the introduction looks like so it is a perfect example and they have added this table of content so it is also looking quite good so if you jump to this section you can click on here and each section has its own background images and added your own images and as you can see that the blog post is very clean and they have added a lot of infographics as well in the blog post so as you can see that there is a lot of infographics added here there is a lot of internal linking here so as you can see that the blog post is very long but still it is very interesting to read the whole blog post so always try to make it attractive and looks good for the visitors so that they can read the content very easily and you can see that they have added a lot of infographics like added a lot of statistics and data in the graphical format so that it will grab the user attention in the blog post so i hope you have got the idea how to write perfect blog post for your website so if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button and to learn more about bloggings do follow our channel and i will see you in the next one bye bye